Hi everybody, it's Maria again today and I have another journal for you. This is my personal journal for September and it is um, an envelope clasp journal for the outside which is these guys right here. And I got these at the dollar store, four for a uh, dollar, so they are nine by 12. Uh, and I sewed in my uh, my signature to my spine and I made it one signature, which made it a little tight for me, but that's okay because I was super silly and um, made it very thick, but I should have made it two signatures, but that's all right. So here we go. Uh, I tied it, I used a ribbon closure for the back, I actually just cut two slits and fed the ribbon through there, and I learned that from Deli Girl 1961, who is Cheryl. And then I, I didn't like how I personally did it. It was my first time trying that way, and I wasn't comfortable with how it looked. So I put a piece of paper over it, and I actually glued it down, but these are just uh, washi for show, and I like how it looks. So let's get to the inside. Here we go. Okay. So the paper line is this paper line. It is uh, Old Hot Buy from Michaels. It is a crepe paper stack. And hope that was on camera. This is my second time filming this one. I already filmed this one and then I didn't like how it came out. And I, the other one I put on earlier today, I filmed three times before I got it right. So hopefully this is gonna go better. Um, I love the maps that they had in there. They had, a, they had some maps and some chart kind of things and a few different colors and I really like that. So the inside cover is um, this cool paint looking thing and they have color names on there so I thought that was really cool. And then um, the spine, like I said, it's sewn in and I just covered it with some washi tape to reinforce it a little bit. There are 15 pages um, of this kind of paper and it's kind of a thicker paper uh, it's not quite a thick card, but it's heavier, obviously, than a, a regular uh, designer paper. And so that makes it 30 pages front and back. Plus, I put some other papers in there as well. Uh, there's cut aparts in here, like the tags. And I put a bunch of Tim Holtz uh, sayings in there that are stickers. This one says, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Uh, then I have some graph paper. I have some tuck spots, like that. In here, I have a pocket, and then I have some accordion tag folds that were part of the paper, and I just made them so that I scored them, and I made them tags. Love those. I could journal, I could put photos. Then some of these, uh, they were left over from cutting the paper apart, so I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll put some of them in between here. And then I used a uh, punch on the end. It's a Fisker's postage stamp punch. I did some, um, rubber stamping on the edges of some of it. Here's another Tim Holtz one. It says, live simply, give generously. This is part of an envelope. Just flipping through here, some more stamping. These are really old stamps that I have um, and they're red rubber stamps and I just love them. They're probably 15 years old at least. They've lasted forever. Here is a fold out, and I learned this from Deli Girl 1961 Cheryl again, and that's the fold out. And it's not stuck on with the washi, that's just for show. More rubber stamping. More rubber stamping. This one says, start each day with a grateful heart. Sorry, it's, it's hard to read a little bit upside down. <laughs> this is a little... Um, embellishment I made and that just has strength on it and it's two punches stapled together with some uh, with you know just a, a banner at the top here more stamping there's three little cut apart from the uh, paper line that I can either journal on or do whatever put them throughout the book another one here Another one of these fold outs in a pocket. And like I said, not my typical colors. Um, I, I normally go towards softer colors, pinks, mints, like my last video, that's my typical colors. Um, but I just, I, I really like how these came out. And I like that they're, um, the colors are light enough still that I could journal on any of them or a photo would look good on any of them. Uh, more of these cut aparts and I love this bicycle because my son's on a mission right now for our church and so he will he's riding his bike probably 12 or more miles a day right now 
uh, the envelope here. That's the other half of the envelope. And uh, this one, I wish it was going the other way. I wish I, or that I had the paper was facing the other way, but that's okay. This is how it came out. And here's another tuck spot. There we go. Layered tuck spot. And this one says, what seems ordinary is often the extraordinary. More that graph paper, more rubber stamping, another tag in there. And then this is just the back. Now I kept the pocket, and there's the pocket. And um, I put some washi around it, it tore. But you know, it's okay, it's my journal. I, I don't mind that at all. Um, I'm probably gonna beat it up and be a little hard on it anyhow this month. And uh, you know, I might do a picture a day, like the Junk Journal Junkies is having, uh, do a picture a day in September. I might journal every day and do a picture. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I have a lot going on this month and I'm happy for that. Uh, and I I'm, I'm get letters from my son weekly, either through the computer or writing um, from his mission. And I'll put those in here because I miss him so terribly. Um, and uh, I have dogs that I'm babysitting every day a little bit. So I can put pictures of them. And of course I have my sweet other two children and they have a lot going on. So that's always something I'm taking pictures of and my sweet honey, my husband. So we'll see how it goes and what I put in. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.